Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you kind of like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I live stream to Justin slash Twitch TV. Now there's many different ways to do this, um, different programs, this and that, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I've been doing it for a year and uh, it's provided me with pretty good results. So uh, hopefully this helps you out in case you're uh, stuck at a point or you're new into it and want to kind of get started into uh, some live streaming. Uh, so here we go. Uh, first off, I have the, the HopHog HD PVR. The two programs I use are the Adobe Flash Media Encoder and the VH Screen Capture Driver. So we'll start off with the, uh, the Screen Capture Driver. Uh, I'll put a link in the description as to where you can download that. Uh, so open it up here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit Create New One. You're going to want to go over to the Capture tab. And you're going to want to open up your uh, your capture module for your PVR. All right, so you see you got the the PS3 here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit select, and you're going to want to capture. Click it up here in the top left. Click, hold, and drag down to here. And what that's going to do is that's going to capture just that screen region and not uh, all this extra stuff over here. After that, you just close this up, and then you're going to want to bring up your Adobe Flash Media Encoder. Now, notice I have the 2.5 uh, version. There's a newer one out, 3.0, 3.2, whatever, something like that. That one, I mean, you can use it, but it tends to use more CPU resources than this one, so I definitely recommend this one. I'll also leave a link in uh, the description below so you can download this one. <clears throat> now the settings on this one, um, I just have the preview set to output and have the audio checked as well. Preset custom. Device, you're going to want to select the, uh, the, the VH uh, screen cap. Format, now there's been many different discussions um, and debates whether to use the, uh, the H.264 or the VP6. I've always used the, the 264. Um, what kind of what I've seen is that this one requires more power than, than the VP6, but it gives better results at a lower bit rate. Um, you might want to play around with it, see see which one's better you're liking. It, it, you know, it's going to have a lot to do with you know how good or, or bad your you know computer power is. Um, but yeah, I have the 264. The bit rate again, this depend, depends on your internet connection. Mine's 20 down, 5 up. Just for reference, I go with a 1,000 uh, bit rate. That provides a high-quality um, stream in uh, Justin TV. Um, if I go any higher, if, like, if I go up to, like, I could probably do 1,200. Once I get into 15, definitely 18, um, I'm going to start, it's going to start being kind of choppy. And if you go kind of any lower than... Maybe 800, maybe you know 650 is gonna be too low. The the quality is not gonna be that good. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to have a pretty good you know computer and, and a pretty dis decent internet connection if you're thinking about thinking about live streaming. Um, now the size you're gonna be doing is 1280 by 720 because that's gonna be your input resolution in the uh, capture module. Uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, I actually resize it. Now this one here, many people do it many different ways. But the way I do it, <clears throat> I check the resize. I don't worry about crop. Check the resize. The width set to 800. Height 450. And that uh, comes out fine for me. It looks good. Uh, the audio, I do stereo mix. Format MP3 stereo. Sample rate, the highest. Bit rate, the highest. Now this volume, don't, you know, don't worry about cranking this thing. Kind of put it a little bit below half. Because I mean, if you crank this thing, then, you know, it's going to come out really loud on your stream. Um, over here, stream to Flash Media Server. You're going to put in the URL um, to to send it to Justin TV. And then this right here, I have this blank, obviously, but uh, this is going to be your stream key, which is your own channel's key. Um, you never definitely don't want to give that out to anyone because then they can get on your stream, this and that. Um, I'll put a link into the description where you can go to log in to Justin TV to get that stream key. Um, so after you put all that in, 
you just hit start and you'll be streaming to Justin Twitch TV. Um, so what you're going to want to do, obviously, is you want to close this. So that's not in the way. And then what I kind of do is I pull up the browser and I put it like right in this spot here. Let me get the browser here. I put it right in this spot here. And I move it right here. That way I can see the chat and I got the, the stream going right here. And um, yeah, so that's that's about it. It's uh, it's pretty easy once you get it set up. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to kind of tweak it a little bit depending on your internet and your computer speeds. Um, if you have any questions for me, just uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, also, leave a comment on um, on your best uh, best ways of uh, live streaming if you already live stream. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. And um, have a good day. Thank you.